This is the final episode of the Kitchen Storage Makeover Contest called The Reveal. The contest, featuring a prize of over $50,000 in Metro equipment, was won by the Fort William Henry Hotel and Conference Center and executive chef Dan Palmer. The Metro design and renovation team has arrived, and over the next three days, they'll be taking the first steps to help optimize workflow, productivity, and storage within this large kitchen. It all starts with assessing the layout plans and organizing team assignments unboxing all of the Metro equipment, placing everything in the right areas so that efficient assembly can begin. To help you follow along with all the renovation changes made at the Fort William Henry Kitchen, let's walk through the final floor plan. Dry storage was relocated 50 feet closer to the cook and prep area for better access. For optimal efficiency, pots and pans from multiple areas were moved adjacent to the cook line. Items such as pitchers, coffee makers, and condiments were consolidated into one convenient beverage station. By optimizing existing space, several chest freezers and coolers could be removed for a much more efficient layout. Utensils, once scattered throughout the kitchen, were collected and moved to one central area. Mobile workstations were introduced throughout the kitchen to create efficient and accessible prep areas. That's a brief overview of the kitchen floor plan. Now follow us through Metro's exciting three-day renovation process. We're going to be finishing up some of the builds of a lot of products and we're putting things in position and starting getting them ready to optimize the space. As you can see, we have a lot going on right now. We're starting to move some of the product back where it belongs after we have some units built and established and we'll start to organize workflow in a much, much better environment. We have a, a four pan and a six pan. This is a four pan, so you know that's heavy. So how light can that be? Yeah. We call it Mighty Light because it is certainly is Mighty Light. Now, in the past, you probably would have, at some instances, a two-person carry when you put 30, 40 pounds of food in one of these carriers. Yeah. With, a, with a carrier that's only not just about nine pounds instead of 25 pounds, it becomes a one-person carry. So that helps you with your labor that you're utilizing. We got a lot going on right here. Dan has been uh, working real hard. Dan, why don't you tell them what you're working on? Yeah, we're working on moving the, the plates and bowls from an inconvenient location to, to a better location so they can utilize the, the space better. We installed this humidified cabinet here, our 9 series cabinet, so you can see that steam come out. And it's really, a, it's an improved holding solution for food quality for them. And why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on here? Sure, we built the shelving around the room and in an area where there are often dead corners, we eliminated the front posts. So we can move the you know, less frequently accessed items there and all the stuff that they grab regularly can be right in the, uh, the main area, so very effective. It's a best practice to use S-hooks and corners. It provides open access to make it easier for people to access their product and rotate to limit and uh, reduce spoilage of product. So Dan, what's, what is your feeling so far of what's been going on? Uh, it's pretty incredible. It, it just I knew it was going to be intense and, and chaotic to some degree, but you guys have put it together so quickly. And every area that you guys touch on and, and, and start kind of adding on to and building up, I, I, it's my new favorite area. This is the last and final day of the makeover. All of the finishing touches are being made. We're getting ready to show the staff to see what's in store for them and to see their reactions. I come over here and what I see is it's just amazingness. <laughs> I don't even know the word for it. We had all of our plates and bowls mixed up throughout this whole place. And we would look for like 10, 15 minutes for stuff sometimes. We would always put it where we knew we could go back to. But now, it's, I'm reassured that anytime I need something for whether it's the restaurant or banquet setting, I can come right over here, it's in the same spot, Everything from bowls, plates, it's, it's 
everything that we need. We got the beverage station over here where uh, they gave us the smart wall system to put some of the condiments and accessories for the uh, coffee and beverage service in. Uh, they gave us these wonderful shelves up here to store our uh, uh, urns and the such in. And we have some uh, storage up here again for some of the things that the wait staff will need. This whole beverage center is much tighter. It's more efficient for the wait staff. It works better for uh, the, the kitchen staff and just getting the product in place for the wait staff. Everything's much better here. Uh, and over here, the pictures that were the bane of my existence are now neatly stored on the shelf above where they're going to be filled. That just makes so much more sense. And uh, again, another smart wall system with all the utensils and things that the uh, staff would be using for beverage service in general over here. Such a tight area, such a great space, well organized, and uh, it's, it's where the staff are going to be. Brilliant. So this, it speaks for itself. It's so easy to move. No more moving three boxes to get out of box. It's gonna make inventory a whole lot easier. Now we're walking into one of the areas of the kitchen that was probably in the worst physical shape, and so we've taken care of that. But the first thing I wanna show you is this wonderful new uh, warming cabinet that they've given us. It's the top of the line series that Metro offers. It's uh, known as a C59. It's a humidified uh, warming cabinet with digital controls. And uh, one of the nice aspects of this is, if you take a look inside, uh, it's, it's a universal storage system here. It fits sheet pans, it fits the hotel pans in sideways. If you wanted and needed to, you could even put them in this way. Now for the banquets that we're doing, I love the configuration where it sets up with the hotel pans this way or sheet pans. We'll probably use it most with the, with the hotel pans. But you see the, uh, the water unit down at the bottom, we've had it plugged in. It freaking fires up brilliant. I shouldn't say freaking probably. But uh, it fires up and it runs wonderfully. The humidifier is all there. Uh, this is like the piece of resistance in, in this kitchen renovation, I think. Walking over here, if you uh, recall the before videos, there was a big gaping hole over here. It was, uh, it was all ripped out. This originally was a dishwash area, but we have uh, repurposed it for uh, food prep, food prep only. And again, you can see they've put this wonderful smart wall system in, and uh, we're, we're doing pastas, straining pastas over here, doing a lot of prep. This is where we have our knives, and you can see all the nice attachments. You're seeing some different attachments for the uh, smart wall system, and uh, it's such a versatile system and that's the beauty of it. Uh, you can hang almost anything uh, that you have in the kitchen here. Uh, uh, we have our knives still where they were, but off the wall, which was nice. Um, we have, again, the shelves up, up top, and it's great for those things that you need close by but don't use all the time because it's right there. You don't have to go running for it, and that's the beauty of this renovation was now we don't have to run 20 yards, 50 yards out to the other room to grab the items that we need. What gets me excited is that everything is a proper workflow. So the servers and the banquet servers will come over here, grab a tray in a cart and load up everything that they need for a banquet or for the restaurant setting. Another thing I like is that everything's where it needs to be for the chefs and the sous chefs. Like I said before, it's a domino effect. And if it starts in the back of the house and goes into the, the front of the house, everything needs to be right where it needs to be. Hey, we're here in a section of the kitchen where a lot of baking and just kind of salad and dessert prep is going on. And uh, these guys have used one of my favorite colors in the kitchen. It's stainless steel, it's beautiful. Uh, and we have two new tables here. They've given us a little rollout uh, over here that uh, can, is very mobile, very flexible. If uh, we need to transport items, we can do that. Uh, one of the neat things that they have over here, this is also a nesting table called uh, Prep Mate. And the, the, brilliance, the brilliance of this is that uh, you can roll this anywhere. Uh, you, you start your prep on here, you can slide it. You got uh, storage down here for containers. It'll hold six pans, third pans, etc. cetera. Um, they, they have accessories that will add on to this. You can hold your cutting boards here. But uh, for this to be so mobile and so versatile, a lot of nice storage down below, as you can see. Um, and uh, I'm planning on using it uh, to actually service some uh, the, the first course of a lot of our banquets that we do. I, I can see setting this up for one course. We have some tight spaces in the kitchen, and we're going to pump some uh, appetizers out off these little prep mates. But at the same time, if there's uh, different uh, prep going on, this table's full. It's nice to be able to roll this out and uh, uh, do some uh, subsequent preps on there. Uh, this is one of my favorite units. You can see we had the spice shelves uh, last time around over on the other wall near the stoves. We've relocated 
dedicated that, much more, much more organized, much neater. We have what we need here. Plenty of storage up top, again, on the shelf. Um, this is the smart lever table, and I'll tell you what, um, when I first saw this assembled, I, met, I was like, what a beast. This thing, uh, you want one of these. This is brilliant. It's heavy duty. It's, it still is very flexible in the applications. It is just a monster, and the quality with which it's made, if you could just see through the camera and, and grab onto this, you would understand what an animal, what a beast this is. And I understand they tell me it's because of the, the uh, lever um, configuration that it's built so heavy duty. But again, you got kind of this uh, smart wall rack system here that can be configured any way. Uh, again, it's gonna make a beautiful prep area for desserts, salads, and, and, uh, and the such. The scope of the uh, smart wall system over here was incredible, and uh, I, it's better than I had envisioned when we were looking at the drawings. Uh, but you can see all these lids that were in, you know, milk crates. Every kitchen I ever worked in had a milk crate with lids in it. Now it's nicely and neatly and efficiently stored up top. We've pulled uh, a lot of the utensils out of the, the tubs and everything. And if you recall the uh, that that darned um, pegboard down the the hall that is no longer there, uh, we've taken and put up. Uh, the hangers and, and very dedicated hangers to each utensil on the smart wall system. And you can see how much more organized it is. And the beauty of this is whether it's wait staff, whether it's kitchen staff, no matter who it is, they're going to see where things go. It's going to go back in its place and the next person who needs it's going to be able to find it really easy. So I just want to talk about this Mighty Light product that we were just introduced today. I know for a fact that we as banquet servers, we will go into these. This is really cool. Kelly, I, I don't even know. We have hot pans that are obviously I'm gonna have gloves or something to hold and protect my hands. But what's really neat about this is it's diverse. Like what I know from this and just standing here for the last five minutes is not only does it hold hot and cold food, and that's gonna be super unique for what we have, I can literally pick this up. It's nine pounds and we're used to, Kelly, can you, can you catch? Obviously, you would not throw hot food in something like that, but the pretty impressive part about this is that we have to go the whole length of the property, and with it being, see, so let me properly show you too. I'm a very little person, and I can grab this thing from anywhere which way I proceed to grab it. So for me, it makes lifting a lot lighter. Yes, go ahead, Cal. Yep, you can literally stand on it. <laughs> like, I'm so impressed by this. I'm just so impressed by this. I'm just so blown away by number one, the, the, the contest and having been chosen. And I can't tell you how humbled I am by the entire experience and uh, how thrilled I am. Uh, all, the entire process, I, you know, the, the crews that I've been working with, the individuals who are here on property, have been terrific. Congratulations to the beautiful and historic Fort William Henry Hotel and Conference Center, winner of the first kitchen storage makeover contest. The transformation of this facility has been nothing short of extraordinary. These highly skilled professionals who have become our friends now have a kitchen that optimizes their workflow, productivity, and storage for many years to come. If you like what you saw in these kitchen storage makeover videos over the last few months and think that this just might be what your facility needs, then stay tuned for information about next year's contest.